So I'm going to do uh, two demos. Um, the first one that I'm going to do here is talking about using scale in Hatch, and we're going to talk about sort of the common way that we use scale and set the scale and look at how it needs to be different in model space and paper space. The second demo that I will do will talk about using the annotative feature for Hatch. So if you're interested in that, then look for the, the second demo as well. So to start with here, I've drawn a series of boxes in model space just so we have something to put our hatch in. And we're going to look at some common hatches that we would use and how we adjust the scale. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to go to the Home tab and I'm going to click on the Hatch button here. The first hatch I'm going to look at is ANSI 31. So I'm going to click on the Hatch pattern here. And I want to make sure for the purposes of this demo that I've got Associative selected, but I don't want Annotative selected. So I'm going to click on the hatch pattern, and I'm going to look for ANSI 31, which is right here. And if I hover over the box, it gives me a preview. And I can see my scale right now is set to 48. And that actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to click in there and um, hit Enter. And then I'm going to put in my next hatch. And the next one I'm going to do is brick. And I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit. So I'm going to pick my hatch button again and go into my hatch pattern and find my brick pattern. And there's a few different, you know, brick type ones. I'm going to stick with the, the one that's called brick. Now when I hover over my box here, I can see that my pattern looks kind of big. And when you're using a, a pattern like brick that you're going to be seeing in elevation and you want it to look as close as possible to the actual material, you want to try to get the size right. So I have looked ahead and I know that the scale that I want to use is about 11. So I'm going to click in here and I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to zoom in here because I want to just show you one useful thing when you're scaling standard size brick. You want to check your distance and if you measure the distance of three rows of brick, it should equal about eight inches, which we're pretty close. So that's just kind of a, a, a useful way to get it to the correct standard size brick. And you, and you have to look at the actual material that you're using um, to get to the right size. The next pattern we're going to use is concrete. So I'm going to click on my box here and go into AR concrete and do a little preview here. Okay, that scale's way too big, so I'm going to adjust it to one. And when I adjust the scale, when I put the number in, I want to make sure that I hit my enter key before I look at the preview again so that it gives me the, the new adjusted scale. So that looks pretty good for concrete. Let's do sand. There it is right there. Okay, and that looks a little dense. So let's adjust our sand scale to two. Okay, and now we're going to do earth. And you'll notice there's not a lot of rhyme or reason as to which, what scale works best with the hatch patterns. Now this one's totally um, dark, so we have to go much bigger. So I'm going to go in here and pick 48. So it's, a l it's some trial and error to get the hatch to look the way you want it to. Let's do ANSI 34. And that's just another angled line one. And that looks a little too big, so let's switch it to 24. And then for our last one, we're going to do cork. And let's take a look. Let's make that one just a little bit smaller. Make it another 12. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So let's hit enter. And now we've drawn our, our hatch in model space. Let's go into paper space. And down here I've set up a viewport at one quarter of an inch scale. And I want to take a look now and see what happens if I want to do the hatch in paper space instead. And to try to get it to look the same as what I've got, um, what I just did in model space. So if you're doing like a material legend or something, this may be useful. So what you want to do is, um, we're going to come in and take a look at our first box here. So we're going to go back to our ANSI 31 and go to our hatch pattern. Let's find our ANSI 31. Okay, and our scale right now is 12. So let's take a look at what our preview. Yeah, that's way too big. Now, you can actually use math to figure out how to get these to look exactly the same as these. Since we're, we're working at quarter-inch scale here, 
we can divide the scale that we used in model space by 48, because 48 is the scale factor for one quarter of an inch, like 96 would be the scale factor for one eighth. Um, so let's just take our 48 and divide it by 48, and we are going to get one. So let's change our scale to one and hover over here, and you can see now it's exactly the same size, and hit enter. So let's do brick next. And we're going to adjust our brick scale will be 0.22 when I divide the 11 by 48. And again, you can see it's coming in at exactly the same size. So you can see that you have to use different scales if you're in paper space versus a scaled view from model space. So let's go to our concrete next. want to adjust that one to 0 0.02. Zoom back out even a little bit. There we go. And let's go to sand. There it is. The previews are a little slow here while I'm making the recording, so we're going to go to 0 0.04 for the sand. And then we've got Earth. And we want to set the scale to 1. Now ANSI 34. There we go. And we want to set that one to 0.5. And again, I'm just dividing the scale that I used in model space by 48. And then we're going to go to cork. And we're going to set that one to 0.25. Whoops, forgot to hit enter on the, the, the uh, ANSI 30, 34. So let's go back in here real quick. We'll go ahead and put the cork in first because we're already set for that. And then we'll go back and pick up our ANSI 34. And that one was set for 0.5. So now you can see that I've created these hatches um, both in model space and paper space and looking at how the different scales affect it. So like I said, the next demo I'm going to do is going to look at how you can use the annotative feature so that you can um, have a scale show up at the, the same size. It'll look the same size uh, even if it's in a different scale. So take a look at that one if you're interested and um, hopefully this helps.